guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz CLE 300 Coupe, courtesy of Mercedes-Benz of Hagerstown in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So today we are in this one because this is an incredibly good looking head from Mercedes-Benz. And this is an all new combination actually for 2024. What I mean by that is, Mercedes-Benz has done away with the C-Class Coupe and the E-Class Coupe and they kind of replaced it with this, the CLE Coupe. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the CLE 300 Coupe will start at $56,500. And of course, there are plenty of options tacking that price up if you really wanted to. This one comes in at right at around $65,000 in case you were curious but regardless of the options that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 255 horsepower at 5800 rpm 295 pound feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm that power being sent to all four wheels through mercedes-benz's full-time formatic all-wheel drive system power being sent to the ground through a nine-speed automatic with paddle shifters which we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.2 seconds that's plenty respectable with MPG numbers coming in at 24 in the city, 30 on the highway, taking premium unleaded fuel. And so before we do any kind of fun paddle shifter or acceleration test here in the CLE Coupe, I did want to mention to you guys the drive modes, of course, in typical Mercedes fashion, they are labeled dynamic. They will include eco, comfort, sport, and individual, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, and the steering sensitivity. So now that we got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the acceleration and paddle shifters here to the test. We want to see how quickly the paddle shifters react for us, and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, go! Very smooth, very, very smooth shifting. I just want to say that right off the bat. I know that's not what I was testing there, but it is true. This is a very smooth shifting vehicle, but acceleration was plenty fine. Nothing crazy, but it certainly gets the job done. Was a slight delight to the paddle shifters. I know Mercedes-Benz can do better, especially in their AMG cars, but having said that, they weren't slow. They're just not lightning quick like the AMG cars. That's all. That's all I'm saying, but plenty quick of an acceleration. You're not going to have any issues with merging onto the highway, but to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four-wheel disc brakes coming standard on the CLE coupe as far as braking feel goes since there's nobody behind us it's on the soft side of things kind of not what i expected i expected it to be a little bit more firmer of a braking feel but that's fine i don't have a problem with that it's more of a luxury braking feel as opposed to a sports car kind of braking feel i guess you could say so i'll just put it that way then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent strut type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension but there is an amg line package that we do have with us here today that adds a sport suspension essentially that's going to help reduce body roll but overall as far as ride quality goes at least that is what is seriously impressing me in my short little test drive here today incredible ride quality soaking up the road imperfections absolutely amazingly i'm not sure if that's a word but yes the ride quality is definitely 100 on point steering feel is brilliant too that one i was not expecting i was so far in this drive right now i'm feeling like this is more of a luxury coupe as opposed to a sports car kind of coupe i didn't know which kind of version i was going to get but this is definitely a luxury coupe without a doubt but i will say the steering feel in the sport driving mode that is still having it at least is definitely weighted very nicely on the heavier side of things instantly points you in the direction that you want to go so with that in mind if you wanted to have a little bit of fun on the back roads you can certainly do that in the sport driving mode and just as an example it loosens up pretty good if you take it out of that sport driving mode it's still not that bad but a little something for everybody i guess we'll just put it that way the other thing i noticed when i first got in this one now i do have the heat on a little bit because it's cold out today but as far as cabin noise goes we're going 58 miles per hour right now and it's a pretty darn serene cabin it's not a whole lot of road noise or really no road noise no wind noise either and it is windy as stink today i'm telling you guys so a very luxurious like cabin in terms of the driving dynamics i guess you should say uh, as far as visibility goes 
for a coupe, it's actually really good. So I'm used to driving cars like I, I recently drove the C8 Corvette or the Camaro or the 370Z. All of the rear visibility in those coupes, they suck. This one is actually really, really good. I can see perfectly fine out of the back. The other thing is with forward visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the CLE Coupe. So whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So just one less thing you gotta worry about there. I definitely like that. And there is an available augmented head up display kind of projecting your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield and navigation information, of course, as well. We don't have that option, unfortunately, but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Mercedes-Benz CLE 300 Coupe. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Mercedes-Benz CLE 300 Coupe, finished in manufacturer Alpine Gray Metallic, which, by the way, is a $1,750 paint option if you wanted to go that route. But again, all new model for 2024. It's actually the same wheelbase as the C-Class sedan, which comes in at 112.8 inches. The length is kind of midway between the C and E-Class sedans. The width is closer to the E-Class, then the C-Class and the roof line, of course, with it being a coupe, is going to be lower than both C and E-Class sedans, just to get some of those uh, specs out of the way there. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where this one is made, taking a look at the VIN. First character is the letter W, indicating that the new CLE coupe is built and assembled in Germany, as it should be. But so then taking a look up front here, Mercedes-Benz diamond block front grille, of course, does come standard. And of course, you will get a more aggressive front fascia if you were to go with one of those AMG line packages like we have today. Do have some front air curtains to the bottom corners there, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. LED headlights to the sides with LED daytime running lights. Automatic feature coming with those as well, along with automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So very convenient feature there as the wind picks up. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right so but now since we are around to the side of this one you're either going to find chrome or gloss black window surrounds night package by the way goes for two hundred dollars we do have that that gives us the gloss black window surrounds of course along with gloss black side mirrors which also can come in body colored side mirrors but they will be power adjustable heated auto dimming and power folding across the board so a lot going on with the side mirrors there there is going to be a chrome accent on those door handles regardless of which configuration that you go with now the wheel setup though there are so many different options for the wheel configurations uh there's 19 inch wheel designs another one of these on the mercedes-benz of hagerstown lot have the 19 inch wheel design but these are optional 20 inch amg multi-spoke alloys they go for around 1150 dollars i think is what it said so that is what they look like mercedes-benz has some of the coolest wheel designs i think available right now so i'm a fan but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back i am in love with this back end this looks so dang aggressive but as always let's go ahead and start up top where you will not find a body colored shark fin antenna or any kind of shark fin antenna because mercedes-benz does it with the sleek design so i love that look it's something mercedes-benz has been doing for a while now but the funny thing is you look at almost any other manufacturer any other car out there it's got some kind of antenna up top there on the roof but anyways rear spoiler back there i like that little body colored lip rear spoiler in the back led taillights and a very nice design also a big fan of that we do have the formatic badging found on the rear trunk there of course just below it all you're going to find kind of a matte black rear diffuser i think that looks pretty darn good but the one thing i would change in the back um, you do have dual exhaust outlets but it's with fake chrome tips so the exhaust doesn't actually come out of what you would think it would come out of this chrome tips there but it's actually tucked away underneath unfortunately so i'm gonna keep saying it mercedes you got to change that either do away with the fake exhaust outlets or put the exhaust through them so it actually looks legit but anyways having said all that i think you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip So now since we are around to the back of the CLE coupe, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there is a button on the key fob, but 
I think the coolest way to go ahead and open that rear trunk is actually press in on the upper portion of the Mercedes-Benz logo. That's the kind of James Bond way of opening it up, but it is a power trunk by the way, so it is gonna open up automatically. There's a button on the trunk itself then to actually close it as well. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 14.8 cubic feet. So little comparison for you, if you went with the C-Class sedan, that comes in at 12.6 cubic feet. So actually a little more space with the C-Class coupe, interestingly enough. But if that was not enough space, those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space then if you needed it there was led cargo lighting back there a lot of times manufacturers will put halogen bulbs even in luxury automakers so that was pretty cool to see chrome plated tie down anchors as well there was a grocery bag hook and then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you're actually going to find in floor storage which is basically unheard of in coupes so that was pretty cool but then make your way up to the rear leg room that comes in at 34.2 inches which is respectable actually for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there so it's kind of like the toyota corolla i don't know if you wouldn't compare those two obviously but still decent amount of space for a coupe but also though rear ventilation coming standard for the CLE coupe which is surprising I think the last time I've seen rear ventilation in a coupe was the Maserati Gran Turismo I drove uh, but yeah it's very rare so that was pretty cool too you do have a bunch of cup holders back there and rear passengers actually have a little bit of ambient lighting back there as well which is pretty cool but then make your way up to the front seats power adjustable front seats do come standard memory settings for both driver and passenger that's pretty darn cool heated front seats coming standard heated and ventilated front seats go for $450 if you wanted that option Napa leather of course coming standard as well overall as far as seat comfort goes it was okay I do like the vertical seams that usually tends to create more comfortable seats because there's no awkward horizontal pressure points or anything like that so not the very most comfortable seats I've ever tested but they're certainly not bad they'll definitely get the job done here but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it is power adjustable and if you wanted a heated steering wheel that adds $250 I love the flat bottom to it 10 and 2 grips are definitely bolstered on the thicker side of things so yeah the steering wheel was definitely working for me but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key it is a heavy duty key it's a heavier weight to it I like that lock button is going to be the Mercedes logo all the way to the top just underneath of that unlock and that button to pop the rear trunk there but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all I'm going to do here is simply put my phone to the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the infotainment screen there so once started up gauge cluster is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and of course there's a home button on the steering wheel on the left side there if you were to press that you got a bunch of different loadouts like the sport loadout I think that looks freaking cool Cool. classic there's navigation if you just wanted to display navigation up there so bunch of different looks to it I think I'm just gonna leave it on classic but yeah everything you could possibly want on the gauge cluster because it's digital so outside temperature how many miles you have left to hit empty safety information all kinds of different things so anyways then making our way to overall interior quality panorama sunroof coming standard led interior lighting as well home light controls for up to three different garage doors can be found just underneath of that frameless rear view mirror you gotta love that wireless phone charger does come standard along with multicolor ambient lighting you guys know mercedes-benz does ambient lighting better than just about everybody out there so you love that and they're even found in the little air vents here i know you're not going to be able to see it because it's daytime but at night they're going to be there too so big fan of that Dual zone climate control does come standard uh, just underneath of that infotainment screen. You got the wireless phone charger I was telling you guys about, a couple cup holders, a little bit of rubberized storage. Within the center armrest, it's a little bit of space, not a ton, but it'll get the job done. You got LED lighting in there, wow. Couple USB charging ports as well. I love the matte wood trim. I think that looks really good just underneath of the gauges and above the passenger side glove box. You got a bunch of silver accents as well. Also, the aluminum speaker covers for the Burmester sound system, which we will test out here in a little bit. That looks absolutely amazing. So a lot of very high-end finishes, contrast stitching throughout, very Mercedes-Benz-like. I think that's how I should describe the interior quality of this thing. So definitely does a very good job. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here because this is a massive 11.9 inch color touchscreen display. You get Bluetooth and audio streaming, wireless 
Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. You gotta love that. You typically still don't find that to this day. Factory navigation system does come standard as well. You can check out your climate control information up there, driving modes as well, ambient lighting colors you can change up up there, and of course, your radio information. So when it comes to that sound system I was just referencing, it is a 17 speaker Burmester 3D sound system. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one. All right, sound system was absolutely amazing. Ton of bass, plenty of clarity. 17 speakers in the size of this vehicle is 100% overkill and I love it. However, I don't know why, but the Sirius XM radio there was kind of going in and out. Maybe it's because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't know, but excellent sound system though, nonetheless. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the CLE 300 coupe in reverse, you will find an extremely high definition rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Get a driver's knee airbag up front as well. Rear side impact airbags, they go for $700. It's an option that we got. So I wanted to mention it to you there. Also in the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children. For the rear car seats, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard. Blind spot assist, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, forward collision mitigation system, and Mercedes-Benz emergency call service as well. So if you were to get into an accident, the car is actually going to call you you and ask if you needed any help ambulance or police or whatever the case that's pretty cool but there is also a driver assistance package that goes for $1,950 that in addition to that gives you adaptive cruise control active lane keep assist evasive maneuver support and speed limit recognition as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts brilliant styling on the CLE 300 coupe I love it Mercedes-Benz did a wonderful job with that also excellent interior quality you really can't beat Mercedes-Benz interior quality it's absolutely amazing the uh, ambient lighting was great as well as far as the room for improvement goes I got two things here it can get pricey quick of course and that, and that might be a good thing because you can really personalize and then make it your own so I can see the argument there but the MSRP of this vehicle can be a little misleading because there are so many different options so the other thing is the fake exhaust outlets that's something that bothers me maybe it doesn't bother you but it's kind of a lie you know it's like lying saying the exhaust is coming through these chrome shapes right here in the back as you would expect them to but not really they're tucked away underneath but anyways that's all i got let me know what you guys think of the cle 300 coupe in the comments section below that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel. Before it gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.